I don't really need this session. I know all about curves. I don't either. I know all about makeup. Bar graph or column graphs are easy to make up. Here's one with a minor difference. Okay. All I do is cut down the y-axis to make the difference look bigger. That's good and easy. Can you do that with survival curves? Yes, investigators often do. Rarely it is shown as it is, like in this one. In the inset, the curves look quite separate. That would be makeup. Over 90% of the data I'm shown. Yes, the y-axis has been cut to only show between 0 and 8%. Aha. Uh -huh. When you show from 0 to 100% you get a different impression. So when we look at the survival curve we need to watch out for cut-off y-axis. What else should we look out for? Read the figure legend. What is the outcome on the y-axis? It may be a composite endpoint and prone to bias. Okay, I remember. That was the discussion about MACE. We should always look for the curve where the outcome is mortality. And also look at the x-axis. Sometime follow-up is stretched out as months, not years. So we should always follow patients for longer. Yes, but remember that death rates will always catch up if you wait long enough. This is the late follow-up comparing bypass surgery with medical treatment in high-risk patients. See how the y-axis doesn't go to 100% in this one either. But it is a longer than 10-year follow-up. Very good. Yes. It looks like surgery offered a survival advantage in the medium term. But with time the bypass failed. Exactly. Please will you demonstrate where to read curves like these? Under best conditions. Yes, no makeup. Okay, this one meets our needs. What is it? It describes survival following Q wave infarction before we had any effective treatments. It's pretty close to a natural history study. The y-axis goes from 0 to 100. The outcome is mortality. And follow-up is for several years. Yes. Now find the median for an average outcome. What's special about the median? It's a better measure of the average effect than the mean or mode. It's what happens half the time. Read the 50th centile from the y-axis and look across. Right. After first infarct average survival was around 9 years. And after second infarct half the people died within 3 years. It's hard to make that one look good. Maybe vanishing cream? <laughs>